Hey everybody, Brad from the Northern Nerdcast. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and an equally fantastic New Year's. I just wanted to do a quick pickup video. I have not done one of these in quite some time. Um, I did get quite a bit of stuff over the holiday break, so I just wanted to go through the things that I had received uh, from my wife, from my kids, stuff I picked up for myself. Uh, I do have one thing that's not here, but it still will get a shout out through the Boxing Day sales. So let's jump right in. First up is the Nintendo Switch. So at Christmas time from my wife, I did get Blue Reflection 2. I don't know how well that's gonna turn up on the screen, but Blue Reflection 2. Also today, uh, I went to Walmart. My kids wanted to spend their Christmas money. Uh, so my daughter and I each got a copy of Minecraft Dungeon. Uh, one of the Boxing Day sales that did uh, happen on Amazon, normally Nintendo Switch doesn't see Boxing Day sales. However, I was able to get a copy of Shin Megami Tensei 5. It is a very punishing JRPG, but I am having an absolute blast playing it so far. So those are what I got on the Switch. My wife did get a second controller for the PS4. She decided she wanted to play a two-player game. So she ordered It Takes Two. Now this did just win game of the year. So we have not had a chance to play this yet, but that is on our list of things to do. Uh, when I was in Sudbury, there was a sale going on at EB. Uh, it does have the EB seal of authenticity, so you know it's legit. But I did end up getting a copy of .hack GU. Uh, also, there were some sales at Walmart. So uh, when I picked up um, Minecraft Dungeon, they did have two games on clearance. So one of those being Biomutant. I have not played this yet, but I have heard so-so things some people really enjoyed it some people didn't and sorry Clayton you should have waited but I did get near replicant that was on clearance as well another game that was uh, given to me by my wife and daughter is Kana Bridge of Spirits I had no idea this was an indie title and it I played it so far I haven't beaten it but it is a phenomenal game uh, it's it is bare bones but for a indie studio it is a lot of fun also from my wife uh, is The Last of Us Part 2. Now I did get this when it was on PlayStation Now for free, played through it and Drew, thank you so much for dad shaming me into playing the series because so far it, it's in my top five games of all time. Also, uh, this was on a recommendation from Scott at Inside the Game is Neo, The World Ends With You. Uh, it is on all three of the, the systems. And then finally on to the PS5 stuff. Um, again, this was another Christmas present from the kids. I got Ghost of Tsushima, the director's cut. Of all the games that I am currently playing, this is the one that I go back to all the time. Um, so, so, so good. It is so much fun. And last but not least, again, this is one of those types of games that is not for everybody. Um, it is a rogue style game. However, uh, I, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a PS5 exclusive, but that is Returnal by Housemark, uh, a PlayStation Studios title. Special shout out goes to Glenn Jones, aka Briefcase Guy, aka the legendary Glenn Jones. He got me a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now it is not here yet. Uh, he was able to find it at EB. It was part of their Boxing Day sale, marked down from $79 to $19. So that was awesome. Glenn, thank you so much. And lastly is another game that's not here, but I do have a copy of Astria Ascending coming from uh, Amazon. Thank you for watching. I hope again everybody had a phenomenal Christmas and a great New Year's. Uh, Northern Nerd Chat Season 2 will be starting up soon. Uh, I'll make sure that Clayton and Adam are back in uh, not festive spirits, uh, not full of cheese. And we'll see you at Season 2 of the Nerd Chats.